they wanted to make sure to have another right back as in the summer, keep an eye on this potential domino. Benjamin Pavard has very good chances to leave the club. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel with Fabrizio Romano with one of the craziest story we had on the transfer market this window. Joao Cancelo to Bayern. What really happened? Let's jump into it together. And so guys, we can say Joao Cancelo to Bayern, here we go, the deal is done and it's a shock deal, honestly, for many people, because it was not expected for Joao Cancelo to leave in January, maybe in the summer, we know the situation was not great in the last week with Manchester City, but to see Joao leaving immediately on loan is something really surprising. What happened, guys? Uh, let's start with the details of the deal. It's a loan deal from Manchester City to Bayern with a buy option included, 70 million euros and not pounds. And, important to clarify, it's not mandatory. So Bayern can decide in the summer if they want to trigger the clause for Joao Cancelo and keep the player, the player at the club or not. But this is the agreement. The player is already in Germany for medical tests and uh, contracts to be signed. But he immediately accepted. Joao Cancelo was desperate to leave Atletico was desperate to leave Manchester City as soon as possible. Because what happened, guys? First of all, Bayern decided to act fast because they had the injury of Mazraoui and also they wanted to make sure to have another right back as in the summer. Keep an eye on this potential domino. Benjamin Pavard has very good chances to leave the club. There is no agreement at the moment to extend the contract and sources close to the player side think that Barcelona is a very concrete option. So Barcelona are tracking Benjamin Pavard. The player would be happy to join Barca in the summer. And it's important to say that the relationship with his agent, Pini Zahavi, is excellent. So keep an eye on this one. Keep an eye on the potential deal between Barcelona and Pavard in the summer. But Bayern now have Joao Cancelo on loan. But what happened between Cancelo and Manchester City? Uh, Cancelo was not happy with the lack of game time. And this created a really tense situation between Joao Cancelo and Pep Guardiola. Uh, some specific moments where the situation was really complicated, really tense. So for Man City, it's crucial second part of the, of the season. Also for Cancelo, it's really important to play. He doesn't like to be on the bench. It already happened at Inter, at Juventus, when he had that, that kind of problem to be constantly on the bench, he always wanted to change. And this is what's happening also with Manchester City. So the situation was tense, especially with Pep Guardiola after his decisions. And so they decided together, uh, as it's the best solution for both parties, to part ways in January and to find a solution on Alone. They also had one solution in Spain. One Spanish clubs approached Manchester City for Joao Cancelo, but Bayern were really convinced, they were really fast on this deal. They reached immediately an agreement with the player because Cancelo was excited to try uh, a new step in a different country. He already played in Spain with Valencia, then in Italy with Inter, then of course with uh, Juventus and then England with Manchester City. Now it's time for Bundesliga because the deal is done loan with buy option 70 million euros after a really complicated past few days between Joel Cancelo and Manchester City. So they didn't want any tense situation, they didn't want any problem in the dressing room or between the manager and any player, and this is why both Man City and Cancelo, and of course his agents, decided to proceed with this solution. It's gonna be Bayern. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on his story, Joao Cancelo, but also Pavard for Barca in the summer. I wait for your opinion here in the comments, like this video, turn on the notification bell. As always, guys, remember to subscribe to the channel. Always here in the channel to update you on all the latest on the transfer market and also for the deadline day.